Is it possible that we're giving Steph Curry too much credit? Not for what he did recently, because he did have a good finals. But historically, are we giving him too much credit? My answer, absolutely. And I knew it was coming. I knew it was going to happen if they won the championship. And people would have these outlandish uh, takes that just... It seems like we're lowering our standards as far as how we view great players in order to propel somebody. Um, I still have him at 10 all-time on my all-time rankings list. I feel he's undeserving of a top 5 spot yet. That isn't to say he doesn't get there eventually. He still might. But you got people like Sean Marks and people within the Curry fan base that thinks that he's number 2 all-time because of one finals MVP. And that to me is just, again, it's outlandish. It's it's completely diminishing all of the bad that Curry's had in his career, which in fairness, there's been a lot of bad. There's been more good than bad. But choking a 3-1 lead in a finals takes the cake for anything. You know, a lot of people give LeBron crap, and justifiably so, for not showing up for 2011 finals. Um, but choking a 3-1 lead to anybody in any series, let alone the finals, is uh, the biggest, uh, I guess, biggest black spot you can have on your resume. Um, on top of that, not having a good 2019 finals, when KD and Clay both went down, Curry could have done more, aside from Game 3, to win that series. Um, and again, again, not to diminish Curry, but when you have a guy that is the best player on your own team for two of your four championships, that, that hurts... That hurts your ranking all time, I think, more than it helps. I think people think because he took the attention away from KD that he deserves some sort of um, uh, prize for it. Or he should be upped higher on the rankings list because the defense was more catered to stop him than KD. Don't think so. Again, that's just that's outlandish. Um, I do think it was a smart ploy on Curry's part to embrace that, but I don't think... I don't think having one really good finals in your six trips there warrant a top five ranking especially at number two um 2015 he was good didn't win finals mvp i think he actually should have won it that year to give him two total 2016 he choked it bad 2017 and 18 kd carried most of the load because they were not ready for him 2019, he had a chance to, to close it out after KD and Clay got hurt, couldn't do it. Um, and then this year, he finally had a really good series. And again, I like Curry, I think, because I think because people value him too much and they look at how he changed the game, they want to propel him to that Mount Rushmore, you know, because of what he brought with the three pointers and how everyone wants to try them now and 30 footers while running away and knowing it's going in. He's just, he definitely changed the game. But to use that as a reason to launch him into a stratosphere that he doesn't quite belong in, that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Could he get there eventually? Yes. Um, His window is closing. I think he has probably four to five years left. But he's definitely top ten. He's at number ten for me. But top five and even two of the best ever? No, you're really uh, lowering your standards if you even consider him to be in that category.